Hello, this is Sherry Hart 3. Christians, or what I call believers, some people um, know what you're doing when you um, sitting in your car and they can see that you're making a video or you know talking but it's like they like to stop and look and see what you're looking at <laughs> that's some people are just nasty anyway um believers and what we think in our hearts that uh when we judge a person is um we strictly either take them to hell or uh we can say that uh they're going to heaven but only God knows the heart. We only judge from what we see in our physical. Now, if somebody's um, going down and they're about to die and they're cursing God and they said, okay, so, okay, he, you know where he's going. So we should, we're too quick to judge. Uh, now, and I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, and let me play this, this real quick. This might be familiar to you. The beautiful Zion, the beautiful Zion Baptist Church. And I'm going to tell you something. This is a song I didn't know that we're Baptists when I'm going to tell you why I thought that. Remember this song? I'll make it all right. Okay, remember this song? Listen. Okay. Now, when I was a teenager, I'm going to turn this down. When I was a teenager, uh, we used to sing this song and we also sung another song and I'm gonna tell you something I did not know that they were from a Baptist church and I know you probably say it doesn't matter but see at the time we were taught that uh, Baptist was uh, not going to make it to heaven and Okay, the reason why I play that is because when I was a teenager, we used to hear this song and um, I automatically thought it was um, people from our church, like like Pentecostal, I did. Um, and we were told that Baptist people, that people from Baptist church wasn't going to make it in because um, now there's a, this is what they said. The missionary Baptist church are the ones who men who smoke and curse and they'll shoot you like nothing and um so we and then they would smoke right out when they get out of church they smoke right on the church parking lot and we don't supposed to smoke um uh, and and harm things to our body because jesus said the bible says if you um defile my temple i will defile you you know uh you he will destroy you but anyway in our hearts we truly believe that uh, they didn't understand what they were talking about that um, now there are some Baptist churches that we didn't know and I'm talking about the churches that was around us all we knew that we judged to say well when they did wrong things we categorized all of them all over the world that you know Baptist people were gonna make it in but the, the Baptist church that we were around missionary Baptist churches or some Baptist church they didn't believe in the Holy Spirit. They didn't believe in speaking in tongue. They didn't, they didn't, you know, they didn't want that in their church. And so, but I just categorized everybody. Um, actually I had this dream, like I had, I trusted people in real life. And like, and so in my dream, I dreamed that I was going, um, I, I needed a ride and someone told me and someone said, I wouldn't go. Don't trust that. Um, I said, aren't you going? We're going the same way. And said, we're going to wait. So I went on, on my own without asking God, whatever. I just went and um, this, the people in the van, I was like, okay, I'm going to go the next corner and you can turn. So they went past it. I said, hey, you um, you just went past where I was going to go. And then I turned to look at them. He, they, this man, he was driving, he had this evil eye. And then he just, his whole demeanor changed. And then he was just um, came like angry, like he just hated me. And he wouldn't take me where I went, where, 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 I, where I wanted to go. So I jumped out of the van. 
when I dropped out, dropped out. He didn't keep going. He made a, he didn't care why he made a turn to follow me up on the sidewalk through the grass. He didn't care. He was trying to run me over. And um, right when the vehicle touched my back, like to run me over, I woke up. And then immediately, I'm telling you, I was up. I woke up out of my sleep, but I was in a open vision. And Jesus was showing me, this song came on uh, with the same choir, the beautiful Zion Mich uh, Missionary Baptist Church or uh, whatever. They have a song called, um, I Need Jesus on My Journey. And God allowed that to play while I was up. I was in my bed. Actually, I was in the, you know, and I was listening and I was like, God, why are you playing that? This is a Baptist song. And, and you know, I didn't know, you know, because you know, they teach us certain things when we were growing up. And so when he played, he was like, I have a relationship. I love all people. Okay, I knew that. It's like, it's not about the name of the church. He played that song for me to show me that I can't not judge, um, you know, I was judging on the outward appearance and um, Jesus have to teach us the right way. Uh, but then he knows the struggles of people also, believers and non-believers. So he's just going to judge, judge the way he judges. He's going to do things different than what you think because he said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And Jonah was the one who, when God told him to go to Nineveh to preach, he said he did really, he didn't want to because those people did things towards his people. But God said, go tell them uh, that I'm going to overthrow the city. I'm going to destroy you. And so when they, they heard that word, when he finally came, they repented. But Jonah sat under the tree, uh, under the bush, well, just waiting for something to happen because he didn't want to go because he said, Lord, I knew that you was the type of God that, that can change your mind. He was ready for those people to die, but he didn't want to go because he didn't want them to repent. But God sent him. Um, so... He said, I knew, he said out of his mouth, I knew that you were a God that would repent, uh, the repent of a thing. So, uh, because, you know, we judge the way we judge and we go by our emotions, but God sees something else. And he saw, uh, he repented of what he was going to do because he had compassion. His heart melted for the people when they repented and they went under the sap cloth. And I think even the animals, they didn't even feed the animals and made them go on to a fast until... Um, and put um, sackcloth uh, sackcloth and ashes on them and then God did not destroy but you know later on it, it, they they got into a war or whatever but at that moment um, we can't be judged let's not be judgmental let's not be self-righteous it's, it's hard it's hard, it's really hard because we go by what we see in the, the flesh and that's why a lot of us are glad that some of us are not God <laughs> Because we would have, they would have been and got rid of us. But because um, we all do so many things, but yet God is merciful. God is merciful for you when you judge, when you prejudge, and you know. So that is it. Um, uh, come to see me every Saturday at twelve o'clock.